Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to F1 2017 where today it's race day for the 2018 Formula 1 Chinese Grand Prix. Yesterday, if you guys didn't see my qualifying video, I managed to qualify 14th in the Williams around here, which I think is a pretty good achievement. I mean, it's not the best car that we've been handed this year, but we're doing our best with it. Um, we've got a pretty decent setup, but for those that don't know the Shanghai circuit here in China, it's basically just a multitude of high downforce corners followed by a massive long straight and you really need a low downforce setup for that long straight or else you'll just get hammered by everyone behind you uh, but because of that low downforce setup it means that you have a pretty shit car through the corners which I found out the hard way now once again before we get into this video I like to mention this for people that are viewing my content here on F1 2017 for the first time this is uh, F1 2017 on the P on the PC, not the PlayStation or Xbox. So on the PC, you can get third-party additions to the game, and we've got a full 2018 mod. So everything that you see today looks and feels like 2018. We've got all the new liveries, all the new drivers, all the new helmets, all the new sort of uh, well everything that makes it look like F1 2018. I guess you could say with the new logos and whatnot. So uh, without any further ado, we'll jump straight into this race we'll see if we can get um, a better result than what we had last time out now another thing I, I just forgot to mention that I mentioned now before we get into this race um, this is the Chinese Grand Prix and the Chinese Grand Prix last year which is of course F1 2017 schedule was before Bahrain whereas this year it's after Bahrain so I'm actually recording this um, before the Bahrain Grand Prix has happened and then I'll upload them the other way around so uh, just save a little bit of confusion there why I don't make any references to the Bahrain Grand Prix because it hasn't actually happened yet on, <laughs> on my series, but yeah, I just thought I'd put that out there. All right, here we go. It's not going to be plain sailing for our drivers today, although with the sky falling as it is, perhaps sailing isn't too far from the truth. Anthony Davidson, could be a wet one today. Great to have you with us. What are your thoughts? It is a touch damp, isn't it? Well, as a driver, there are three big things to worry about when racing in these kind of conditions. Standing water, tyre temperature and visibility. And judging distance to the cars around you is really tricky when you're driving through the vast amounts of spray that these wet weather Pirelli tyres kick up. We're almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Kimi Raikkonen starts today from pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Bottas, Daniel Ricciardo, and Verstappen, Alonso, Hülkenberg, Magnussen, and Jolien Palmer, Grosjean, Van Dorn, Carlos Sainz, and the Williams, Ocon, Perez, Daniel Kvyat, and Pascal Wehrlein. Ericsson and Lance Stroll rounds off the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. We're below where we should be on the grid. We want you to go in aggressive and take a few positions off the start. Remember, be aware and keep safe. All right, here we go. Round number three on the year. Technically, it's actually round number two for us, but... It should be interesting to say the least. It is wet as you can see. The first sort of wet Grand Prix of the year. And around here with this low downfall setting it's probably going to be quite difficult to hold on to this thing. I haven't ran in the rain yet at all on F1 2017. So the first time I'll get a feel for the new modern F1 car in, <laughs> in the rain will be turn one. Which will hopefully, well, will hopefully survive. Alright, so race strategy today, um, well, I mean, take your pick, really. You can either do a two-stop or a three-stop. The weather is going to dry out towards the end of the race. So maybe thinking we... Uh, I don't know how... Oh, this is really take your pick. I think I might go with a three-stop purely because I don't know how hard I'm going to be on this tyre. We've got a low downfall setting and I'm very inexperienced in the wet on F1 2017. I haven't driven yet yet, so... Uh, but 18 seconds in difference just through the pit stops. So I feel like if we can make a pit stop there, you see where that number 14 is in the middle of this sort of race strategy? That's in line with the see the weather sort of moves onto a dry section there, so... It's whether we ch 
Chance pitting there to go on slicks or Chance waiting an extra sort of four or five laps to get onto the slick tyre. Now, I'm just going to go with the low tyre management to start off with and then we'll see how the race ends up. And we might actually switch back to that higher or higher tyre management strategy based on how the car's handling. All right, that's enough strategy talk. Actually, just wondering if I should put that wing up. I'll leave it. We'll just use this as a learning race. I mean, I'd like to get some points, but in the rain, we just don't know how we're going to go. All right, here we go. Time to set off on this warm-up lap. Do a little practice start here. Okay, the system checks are All right, so good. memory lock that throttle position. That wasn't too bad. A little bit of wheel spin in the second stage. To the tires and work the brakes. We want them nice and warm by the end of the lap. All right. So for those that uh, didn't see my previous content, once again on F1 2017, you'll probably notice that I'm quite zoomed in on this sort of cockpit view. Now, if you're new to my channel, you'll uh, soon realize that I like to have all my sports games and, and sim racing as realistic as possible. That's why I'm using this view for starters and I actually used to race uh, open wheel cars in real life. I, I was a professional racing car driver for the last sort of six years of my life before unfortunately I lost some sponsorship and couldn't continue at the level I was but throughout that time I did race a lot of open wheel cars and the sort of default view on the cockpit view on this game was it's really quite far back and I just could not get um, get used to being so far like zoomed out I feel like I couldn't see my apexes probably uh, apexes probably I'm gonna try and speak English we are in China but and another thing is um, I could see my sort of wind mirrors the whole time um, so on my mirrors the whole time so I definitely didn't want to get kept getting sort of like distracted from that point of view oh, I can barely touch the brakes here I knew this was gonna be the case it's a shame I can't change that brake pressure okay, we'll figure it out as the first lap goes on uh, just apologies in advance if you can hear my G29. I am using a Logitech G29 steering wheel, so that's all that rattling you can probably hear in the background. Gosh, it really does lock the brakes easily. Gotta be careful on that one, don't want to go up the back of anyone. Here we go, time for the second or third round of the year. Barely see a thing. Should be an interesting turn one and first lap. Just got to survive. Come on, Joseph. Lucas! Alright, waiting for the rest of the grid to form up. And we are just about ready to go. Here we go. jump the start there. Reaction timing is dead on. <laughs> oh, squeeze up the inside. Ooh! Don't kill me. Get 
Uh, uh, don't touch the white lines. Definitely do not want to touch lines, uh, the white, any sort of painted line or painted object when it's wet, you will die. Oh, something happened there, I felt some contact. Come on! Go away, Alonso. I don't think we got any damage. I saw some piece of bodywork go flying there into that headbin. Hopefully once I get into a rhythm and feel this sort of new game out with the weather, we should be able to hopefully have something for this top six. Cut line, come on. I mean, in theory, you want to stay off the racing line um, because, well, rubber and water do not mix, and the racing line has way more rubber on it than what off of the racing line does. If that makes sense. So you actually go faster in the rain by avoiding the racing line. There's some corners that are really tight where going the long way round of the corner. I mean, that's sort of the down part of taking this line here as you're travelling so many more metres. So, it can be slower. So, for those, once again, that hasn't seen or haven't seen my previous sort of videos, you'll <laughs> soon find out that I'm quite a way away down on straight line speed. Oh my gosh, locked it up big time there. Now that we're running behind people, we won't get DRS in the rain, so that sort of hurts us a bit. Oof, got away with that. I'm just trying to avoid that racing line. I mean, I may be just looking like the biggest tool right now because maybe they don't even have that sort of type of physics incorporated into F1 2017. But yeah, in real life. <laughs> in real life you wouldn't you'd be running right around the outside of this corner. Still, we're inside the top 10, so that's a good, that's a good start. It's just, yeah, this last sector we've been really slow all week. Could not get any straight line speed. real life, running this curb or even that curb, I'd be probably upside down by now, but you can get away with it here on F1 2017. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm not sort of doing any fuel saving, well, using the sort of the fuel load right now, it's because I'm going to save that for when it dries out, if it dries out. Try and use that sort of engine speed in the dry instead of the rain. And it doesn't really make all that much of a difference. You're doing well out there, keep it up. We're looking at about 10 minutes of rain. 10 minutes. There you go, 10 
more minutes. Ah, come on, Joseph. We're considering switching to an alternate strategy. Do you want to change your stick to plan A? If the tire wear is good. Alright, so we've switched back to that two stop strategy. So it's would seem that the engineers feel that the tire wear right now, that I haven't been really looking at to be honest, been focusing, is not too bad. been a good lap. Absolutely drifting it through turn one. Probably not the best thing for the tyres to be experiencing right now. They are definitely much quicker than everyone in front in sector one. I just can't get through sector three. Need some more power. Yellows. 
Oh, Ricardo's out. Oh, no. The Aussie is gone. Just saw him there on the left. That's another position. Free spots. Well, the rain's definitely got lighter since the start of the race. literally using like one third of the brake pressure that I use in the dry. <laughs> Try and stay out until it dries out. Stay on these uh, inters until it dries out. We're sort of just about keeping in touch with Hulkenberg ahead of us. Definitely getting quicker. Okay, gap to leader, 10.2 seconds.
a couple of front guys pitted. I think Hamilton has as well. So there's like a distinctive sort of change in the colour of the racetrack when there's no water on it, like it goes to sort of light grey versus this sort of dark grey that you're seeing right now. And I'm just waiting and praying that I'm going to see it sooner rather than later. Bottas isn't actually catching us as far as we're going.
China, not Tokyo. Those left side tyres get to 90%, I'm coming in. I'm not going to risk that much, especially when we're in a pretty good position as it is. See, Bottas actually went two seconds quicker than us on that last lap. There's going to be nothing left on these tyres by the pit stop, i tell you that much. <laughs> I'm waiting for him to show up that sort of medium tyre. That's what I want to be on. See Verstappen and I think the two Ferraris have got the same idea as us. Just stay out until the tyres blow up. <laughs> it's a bit risky, but if we can pull it off, it'll be awesome. Oh, gosh. That is the definition of grassing it. Alright, what was that lap time? Still slow as fuck. <laughs> Come on, track, drive for me. seems to be almost dry enough. Box this lap. The pit box is currently full. Stay out on track. Stay out on track. What do you mean? I'm the number one driver. You make sure that pit box is wide open. <laughs> box this lap. Understood. Stopping this lap. Alright, cool. Thank you. They heard me. <laughs> oh. I don't know where I'm going there. Go, you good thing. I did not want to lock up the brakes and speed, so I slowed down extra early. Right, here we go. Complete, go now. 2.5, damn! I like that. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Alright, medium to the end. Let's just fill the track out first before I go balls deep in some of these corners.
Alright, we have a decent gap. Still slippery in some sections. Alright, so we pulled it off. We got onto the medium tyre, we jumped, I think, four positions, three or four positions. Now let's just see how long we can hold this Williams in this spot for, because I mean, we do not have the pace of the Mercedes, so they will be on us sooner rather than later. There's way too much good. Taking the lead. Come on, Joseph, speed up. All right, Hamilton's in the pits. Here comes Bottas. Watch this. So we've supposedly got the exact same engine as the car behind us right now. Now watch this. See ya. <laughs> I mean, I know he had DRS, but still, that's a... Right, Hulkenberg, that's the question. Where is he? Alright, so we've got 11 laps to hold off, like 14 seconds, and then we'll have a top 5. Mind you, I don't know where Hamilton is either. We had a pretty good pit stop. I was just ridiculously slow on the outlap, probably on the inlap as well. Why Bottas sort of caught up so quickly? Seven, so around 2.7 seconds off the pace is probably what I expected to be honest. I 
Okay, so Hamilton's got in front of Hulkenberg, so he's gonna be next on our tail. <coughs> he's got 10 laps, so basically he needs to be a second quicker than us a lap, which he probably will be, to be honest. I mean, he's probably just gained a second in the first sector. These new downforce, like the new downforce on these sort of next generation of F1 cars, makes them so damn slow down the straight. I mean, well, they're still hauling ass, but nothing compared to what they used to be. It's like two cars in front of DNF and Hamilton to crash out and we're on the podium. So fucking hard. The gap to the leader is 31.4 seconds. Jesus Christ. Uh -huh.
seven laps to go and Hamilton is getting ever closer. Can't see him yet. doing the same laps though so the car is actually quite good in the dry we managed to come away with a half decent race setup I'm not even going to bother defending, I don't want to lose another place to Hulkenberg, who last time I checked was behind Hamilton, so we'll just let the Bulldog go past. Braked early because I was expecting the aero wash from the car in front, but <laughs> not existent in this game. Alright, so we seem to have an issue with the engine, that's not going to help us out. Still had a best first sector though with that sort of DRS. Ah, uh, missed the apex there. got that corner right. Holy shit. Did anyone see that? <laughs> she got that corner right. Alright, so I've been monitoring the gap to Holkenberg and we lost four tenths on the last lap. 
We'll see how much we lose again on this lap, but at that rate, he shouldn't catch us by the end of the race. So we should be able to hold on to sixth here, provided whatever the hell's going on with this engine doesn't cause us to DNF. And a six in the Williams points would just be an awesome achievement. And our last five laps have been within like two tenths of each other, so. Car is good. now that the fuel level's burned off. over there. This car is handling so much better than what I did in practice. In practice, we were all over the shop. Uh oh, here comes Hockenberg. Four seconds behind. Should just be okay. So 
See, I just looked in. We're barely getting 191 miles an hour. We should be well over 200 on that straight. Well, not well, but at least 200. This is your final lap. All right, last lap. Hulkenberg is only three seconds behind. One more lap and he definitely would have been on our tail. Woohoo! Sixth place! Damn, I'm so happy we've got that. Especially in this car. Great drive, yes! Great drive. We're really happy with that performance. <sighs> Damn, that was not easy. So, another excellent win from Ferrari. Anthony, what do you think made the difference here? Well, I'd, I'd say it's just raw pace, plain and simple. I mean, we could sit here and talk about strategy all day, the overtaking, looking after the tyres, but at the end of it all, if you want to win, you need a package that's got the speed over everyone else, and that's exactly what they had today. And as we can see, it's time for the podium, and as the drivers make their way out, there's a familiar red suit making its way to the top step. Fantastic win for Ferrari. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. It wasn't the best weekend for our championship leader, and their advantage at the top has been reduced. Now then, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? Let's give it to Sergio Perez. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. On to the constructors then. Ferrari extend their lead at the top of the championship. Another team that excelled today was Williams, who make further progress up the table. After all this drama, you'd be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. All right, well, here are the results. Uh, unfortunately, Stroll, once again, very down on pace, all the way down in 16th, one lap down. But we managed sixth. I mean, we were the best of the rest today. Uh, thankfully, we had one sort of position gained by the DNF of Ricardo, which helped us out quite a bit. Gave us an extra sort of two points, which in this championship can be very valuable at times. So, Raikkonen gets the win, Verstappen second, up from sixth place on the grid. I suppose he sort of commanded the wet conditions, as per usual. Vettel third, and the two Mercedes fourth and fifth. So, here on our sort of series on F1 2017 slash the 2018 Formula 1 World Championship, Ferrari definitely have the upper hand. Alright guys, there we have it, a 6th place on what is technically our second race of the season, but on this sort of series it'll be our third race because I will probably have uploaded it after Bahrain by the time you guys are seeing it. But yeah, no, for the Williams car to finish 6th today with the pace it has, uh, that was, yeah, that was an awesome result. Now, one thing I did sort of get a little bit worried with during the race was that engine um, sort of warning we had. 
So if we go here, the ICE, the actual engine itself, is all the way up to 53%, so I'm not sure how much longer that's going to last, um, especially when they said it was slightly down on power because of that, but um, yeah, our pace definitely wasn't as good at the end of that race as what it was when we first put on the medium tyre, which is when that was still in the green, so I might do a little bit more research in there, probably send, uh, spend some of these sort of resource points that you get on the ICE um, sort of dura uh, durability, and we will see how we are going into round four. Alright guys, thanks once again for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed today's race. I know I did. It was definitely one of the best races I've had in a long time on any sort of F1 2017 game. We just uh, played the strategy game and put the gambles down on the table and managed to come away with a successful result. Alright guys, once again, thanks for tuning in. And until next time, I'll catch you later.